Hello again. This is a flight from the next leg of a series of flights. This is from Minneapolis to Detroit. Again, I will be using the 3D view once we get things going here. And we will be uh, pushing back momentarily. I'll be filming or videoing the departure out of Minneapolis, the arrival into Detroit. And uh, if anything significant happens in between, we will turn on the video for that. So we're getting ready to push back now. Checking the weather first. Well, is 3026, which we're setting right now. And the winds are 300 or 5 knots, so we're going to be taking off to the north to the west today and then turning back around to our first waypoint, which is called Taxi, T A X E E. And so we should be ready to go here shortly. N744 AS pushback ready. Please release park brakes. Nice view of the Minneapolis terminal and look at the clouds over it. Uh, the weather radar here does show some active weather, so we'll see what we get when we get up. It does appear that we have power on the engines now. Now we should be ready to taxi shortly. And our turnout will be to the left, and we will be doing an approximately uh, a turning back over the airport to head for our first waypoint. So, because uh, we're taking off on the south side of the airport, the waypoint is to the northeast. So we'll be turning around over the airport to make that uh, and seven first four waypoint. four AS pushback finalized. We're 
announcing our taxi to runway 030 left, and we should be moving here momentarily. I guess it doesn't look too bad. It is. The flight takes place at 6:30 in the morning, so uh, we're getting some dawn, some early morning light. And again, since this 3D view has no panel, I'll be using my instruments in order to make this work. going over to taxiway alpha to get down to the end of the runway in order to get ready to take off so change the uh, settings on the camera a little bit to try to get a little better picture off of the monitors. And yesterday it was pretty white out and so I changed some of the uh, settings on the camera to try to get a little better picture um, and a little better color as we travel. So hopefully this will make it a little better and easier to see and bring out a little more detail. Of course, there is a time when I have to go to Excel and make some adjustments or make some announcements that are on the Excel spreadsheet that are on the left hand monitor. And of course, that over, it's way over uh, exposed. And so, but once it comes back from that, we should get fairly decent exposures now. Yesterday's was overexposed pretty bad. I'm going to try to correct that today. And if these settings will work that I'm using in the camera, then they'll be saved so that uh, we can use them for, you know, continue to use them. I don't know if you're enjoying these videos or not. I hope so. Uh, I have. Uh, I spend. A, I, I enjoy the flight simulator quite a bit. There's a new version of it out now called X Plane 11, which I may be forced to get here pretty soon because of uh, support elements for the X Plane 10. Maybe not being available anymore. But when that time comes, then I'll invest in the X Plane 11. In the meantime, I'll stick with 10. Because I do like the program a lot. And uh, X Plane 11 would mean re downloading a lot of uh, the programs again that would make it work. So I'd rather stick with what I got for now. <laughs> I hear it's a great program. It's a much better program than 10, which is hard to believe. Uh, it may have some better. Uh, airplane cockpits and so forth, but uh, I'm happy with what I got so far, so that's what we'll stick with. Turning on the autopilot.
and we should be rolling momentarily. Picking up our speed for takeoff. This plane works a little different than uh, some of the other ones. The autopilot in it is connected a little differently. So hopefully it'll work for us and we'll see what happens. We're at a hundred knots. At a hundred and twenty knots, I'll go ahead and try to get see if we can get it off the ground. Oh, that's a good sign. So we're breaking ground here. Here up. As we get a little higher off the airport, I'll be doing the turn to the left to bring us back around to get us to our first waypoint. It's kind of nice scenery it is early in the morning in Minneapolis. I hope you can see it as well as I can. See the sun coming up, and we are now heading directly to our first waypoint. We're leaving on what's called the Colt 5 departure. 
and the final waypoint on the Colt night departure is the Wells, the city of Wells, which is about a hundred miles down the way. So uh, I won't leave the, the video on for that long. But hopefully you're enjoying a little better the clouds and the scenery on this one. This looks pretty decent where I'm at. So hopefully it'll look a little better for you now that I got things set a little bit better on the camera. Maybe it'll be, it'll show up a little more dis distinctive. Climbing through 5,200 right now. Once we reach 10,000 feet, I'll probably turn off the camera. At which point I'll be increasing the airspeed of the airplane and heading us for Detroit. Scheduled time, or scheduled time in route to Detroit is uh, an hour and 40 minutes. Uh, so uh, it shouldn't be too long and I'll have you back in the, have the camera back on for the arrival in Detroit. We're on a Polar 5 arrival to Detroit. We'll be landing south on runway 22 right because the winds are coming up out of the south in Detroit today. And in the real world, that's their landing south. So using the real world as my guidance, uh, that's how I pick the runways um, that I do for arrivals and departures by looking at the, the maps on a program called FlightAware that shows the traffic directions out of the airports that I'm flying out of. Climbing right now at about 900 feet a minute. We're passing through 6,300 feet. For I think our final altitude is 10,400. So reaching the 10,000 mark, I will turn the camera off. And I'll bring it back on. If there's any significant weather, we'll bring it back up. Otherwise, uh, it'll be on the arrival into Detroit. And you can see the glare of the landing lights on the clouds. Even though it's uh, it's light, it's not quite completely light yet. So landing lights still reflect off of the clouds as we climb up to our altitude. Uh, we climb up to ten thousand feet, where I turn off the landing lights at ten thousand feet, and I'll increase the airspeed. 250 knots to 280 knots for the trip to Detroit. Just passing through 8,000 feet now. We're just about broken through the top of the cloud layer. See, there's a few more up ahead of us yet that are a little higher than we've got to go through yet.
now we're picking up the, uh, the uh, VOR beacon for Dells, which is about 140 miles ahead of us. And we'll be crossing Dells at flight level at 35,000 feet or flight level 350. We're coming up to 10,000 feet now and I'll be turning off the video. You can see the river over here on the side. We've got some cloud cover in here. And if there'll be cloud cover to the left side of the aircraft, you can't see much there either. You see a little break to see the ground, a little of the break under the clouds, but it's kind of hard to pick up. So, passing 10,000 feet, we're going to turn off the lights, increase our airspeed, and head on our way. So, we'll catch you on the arrival into Detroit. If there's anything significant, we will. Turn on the video and let you see.